Power of a Point Theorem in Geometry When a line interacts with a circle, there are two cases. In case 1, a line AB outside the circle touches the circle at a single point B, it is also called that line AB is tangent to the circle. In such case, that radius OB is perpendicular to line AB. In case 2, a line AB intersects the circle at two points, C and D, such line is called a secant of the circle. Along the secant, the line segment CD between two intersection points is called a chord of the circle. There are three cases for power of a point theorem. In case 1, two chords AB and CD intersect at point E. In such case, we have AE times BE equal to CE times DE. In case 2, line AB is tangent to the circle at point B, while line AD is a secant of the circle intersecting the circle at points C and D. In such case, we have AB square equal to AC times AD. In case 3, both lines are secants and intersect the circle outside of it. Secant AE intersects the circle at points B and E, and secant AD intersects the circle at points C and D. In such case, we have AB times AE equal to AC times AD. Next, let's look at a problem from 2013 Grade 10 American Maths Competition. Please pause the video and read the problem. Let's first draw the diagram. We have a triangle ABC. The length of AB is 86 and the length of AC is 97. A circle with center A and radius AB intersects BC at points B and X. So the radius of the circle is 86. By this problem, we see that lines CB, A and D, CA are both secants of the circle. To get the intersection points for secant CA, we extend CA to reach the circle at point D. We label the other intersection point as E. Since there are two secants intersecting a circle, we can apply power of a point theorem. Since chord DE passes the center of the circle, DE is a diameter. It is given the radius of the circle is 86. AE is a radius, which equals 86. DE is a diameter, thus equals 172. Given that AC is equal to 97, CE is equal to AC minus AE, which gives 11. CD is equal to CE plus DE, which gives 183. It is given that segments BX and CX are integers, so segment BC is also an integer. We denote XC as M and BC as N. By applying power of a point theorem, we get equation 1. After substituting the values of CE and CD into equation 1, we get equation 2, m times n equal to 11 times 183. In equation 2, we have two integer variables. To solve the problems involved with integer variables, factorization is a powerful technique. We do prime factorization on the right side of equation 2, then we get equation 3. Based on triangle inequality, we know that BC is greater than the absolute difference between AC and AB, and less than the sum of AC and AB. Therefore, BC is greater than 11 and less than 183. Based on the conditions that M is less than N, and N is greater than 11 and less than 183, the only possible solution for n is 61. Therefore, the length of BC is 61, the answer is D. There are three cases for power of a point theorem depending how the lines intersect the circle. Case 1 involves two chords, case 2 involves one tangent line and one secant, case 3 involves two secants. Power of a point theorem can be used to solve geometry problems where two lines intersect a circle and two or more segment lengths are given. If you are interested in learning more math theorems or techniques, please visit our YouTube channel Maths in Minutes. 
If you like the video, please press the buttons of subscribe, like, share, and feel free to comment.